A man was taken into custody yesterday afternoon after lighting a fire along Interstate 20. Stay tuned for the details. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601 Tractor. Leaders with the Vicksburg Warren School District are getting a head start and are looking to add new students to its roster at the Academy of Innovation. Applications are now available online, and those who are already enrolled as 7th grade students at Academy do not need to reapply for the 8th grade. The deadline to apply is Friday, February 11th. For an online link, check out the story on our website. At around 11.30 a.m., an overturned vehicle was reported in the 1700 block of Martin Luther King Boulevard. A sedan hit an embankment, causing the vehicle to overturn in the eastbound lane. The crash sparked a response from first responders and caused the road to be closed temporarily. Fortunately, no one was entrapped in the vehicle and no injuries were reported. And in our top story, at around 4.20 p.m. on Friday, a man started a fire near the tree line along Interstate 20. He appeared to have been living in the wooded area for some time and seemed to be burning personal belongings. Officer Lee Williams arrived shortly after Warren County firefighters and made contact. The man immediately began yelling at the officer, obviously distraught. Backup was called and the man was taken into custody. Firefighters were then able to make a quick work of the fire. For the full details on this story or any of our others, check out our website at vicksburgnews.com. High School's girls soccer team are now district champs after defeating Cleveland Central 3-0 on Friday night. Trinity McGloster scored two goals for the Missy Gators and Amari Johnson got one to secure the victory. VHS is coached by Samantha Bailey and are scheduled to play Provine on Tuesday. Warren Central girls basketball team came out on top of their district opener against Pearl on Friday in a 46-33 win. Jayla Smith paved the way in the victory by scoring 22 points. Both Smith and Zai Seagrest helped defensively by grabbing eight rebounds apiece. Warren Central now have a 13-7 record and will host Terry on January 14th. Vicksburg Junior High School boys basketball team dominated over Brandon on Thursday in a 58-18 win. Marlon Foy led VJHS with 14 points, followed by Jordan Clay, who added 13 on the board. VJHS will host Warren Central on Monday. Looking at our forecast, we see our Sunday with a high around 71 and a 60% chance of thunderstorms, 39 for the low. Then on Monday, we'll kick off the work week with mostly sunny skies, highs around 52, and then Monday night, lows around 31. And on Tuesday, we see a mostly sunny day, high around 53, and then a 32 for the low. Happy birthday to David Hayworth, who turns 86 today. And a special birthday to Caden Pop Pop Parston, who celebrated his first birthday with a parade. Fire truck coming through. Ladder 15. Oh. Remember to have your birthday featured. Just send us a message on Facebook or email birthdays at vicksburgnews.com. 